This is video number 7 of the gilding course made by Rinaldin. The course is made up of 11 videos plus an introductory video. I'll now show you how to use a gold leaf, so called gold transfer. It's a leaf of gold of 8 by 8 centimeters that's been pressed against a thin tissue paper wider than the leaf. The leaf with its tissue paper is inserted in a booklet of 25 sheets. Also a silver transfer leaf exists with a 9,5 by 9,5 cm measurements. The transfer leaves are to be preferably handled whilst wearing nylon gloves to avoid the fingers from touching the size. I now apply the leaf to the frame on which I'll have already previously applied the size. The transfer leaf in fact is only good for size gilding. The transfer leaf is easier to handle and it's because of this that it's often preferred by beginners. Another advantage is that even if there's a draft, the transfer leaf doesn't fly off. The disadvantage, however, is that because it can only be used with the size gilding and not for the water gilding, it can't be burnished. I'll use all the pieces of the transfer leaf which are left over to cover the areas which were left uncovered, using the fact that the size is still sticky. I now brush off all the superfluous leaf residue with a special brush. If you realise that some area has been left uncovered, you have to cover it. This uncovered strip is probably due to the fact that I forgot to go over it with the size, or that the size was already too dry. I therefore have to go over the uncovered area again with the size. As soon as the size becomes sticky, you can apply the leaf. The gilding with transfer gold leaf is now finished. These are the gold transfer leaves provided by Rinaldin. Booklet of 25 transfer gold leaves. A booklet of 25 transfer silver leaves. You can find all the products for gilding on the website www.rinaldin.com